Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're doing another haul video. I've got a couple of things from two different estate sales that we went to. Didn't pick up a whole lot. It's just kind of slim pickings and overpriced to me, it seems right now. Um, and then I've got a whole another partial bag of stuff to share with you from the Goodwill Bins in St. Louis. Many moons ago, I used to do a live show every, what day was it? Like Wednesday. Wednesday. Every Wednesday morning. It usually lasted like an hour, hour and a half. And I had two co-hosts with me, Elizabeth and Lori. Well, Elizabeth it had a YouTube channel, but it was primarily focused on reading. But she has now made a new channel where she's focusing on reselling. If you want to check it out, Robert's going to have a link down in the description. And Elizabeth's new channel is The Reading Reseller. So go give her a, a, a subscribe and a like. First thing, funny story. We picked this up at an estate sale this past weekend. I've done very well with like pastels. But these are like cray, well, they say crayon pastels. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. You can tell they've been used, but not very much. And I looked them up, and then I just kind of laid them back down. And then as we're checking out, Robert's, it's back in the bag. And I realized, I thought I put that back, and Robert had picked it up again. We paid, it was half price day, so we paid two fifty dollars for it. And what were the comps? 15 to 20 Well, it was the low end, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure why I put it back. I think I was just really trying to be frugal. Um, but we bought it anyway. And then he picked up this. See, this is... I don't ever go look at the books. Very, very seldom. But it is an Ethan Allen printed in the USA catalog. Do you know what year it was? I didn't dig that deep. I didn't find that exact one. But they were... The older looking ones were going for $18, $20. Oh, very good. Oh, it says it's nineteen seventy nine. We would pay, I think, fifty cents because all the books were marked as a dollar, and it was half price day. Yep, that. And then you grabbed this kind of, and they had a bed full of like vintagey looking hats. It says hundred percent cotton, made in Japan. Kind of just one of these. She had a lot of yellow hats. Yeah. Very interesting, and the hats were, I want to say they were $2, so we got it for a dollar. I can't remember. I think so. We didn't pay very much that day. We bought a couple of things for us, which is what made the price go up. And then I grabbed these. I paid $7.50. I haven't picked up silverware in a while, flatware, um, but I had looked up comps on these, and I don't know if I had the exact pattern. But they seem to be doing okay. Let me see what it was. This one, of course, I can't read. Something Germany. Sojin, Germany. What I plan on doing is, there's some, like, specialty type spoons in here. But usually what I do is I try to make sets of four. So it'll be four salad forks, four dinner forks. Um, and then I'll price it based on either what the whole sets are selling for or if other people are doing the same thing. But I've done really, really well with um, flatware, especially Oneida. All right, and then, oh, this was the one of the toys I picked up at a, it was an estate sale for a reseller. So this was one of the toys I picked up that day. The prices were a little bit up there. So I on a lot of things. The plush, not so much. I think I paid $2 for this that day. And I always pick up most things Wonder Pets, especially when it's the Fisher Price ones. You're not going to show them the other one? I don't know where it is. I can't find it. But I, I knew that. I was just I'm messing to, with me. I, I just wanted you to uh, state your incompetence for everyone to hear. Y'all, yes, I'm cleaning up my profit piles. But as I'm cleaning up my profit piles, I'm pulling stuff off and things are, it doesn't look any better in here, but believe me, 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items have either been processed and are already put away or they are in bags to be donated or in the trash. So so you're cleaning up and losing stuff. Yes. Which is what you do to me. You decide you're going to clean up and then my stuff disappears because I can't find it because you've done I, something with we it. We organized it. <laughs> I'm glad you're suffering from your own yes, self, too. I can't find it. But eventually I'll find it because it was something I want to share with you guys. Really good comps. But I got a bag of smalls here to share. And then I'll move into some of the plush. If I can find like more than one, I think I've actually got three or four of these um, small items. I'll go ahead and pick them up because even if I can list them for $9.95 or $12.95, it's worth picking them up. But of course, Muppets, Sesame Street characters. Found some more of these. I sell them almost as soon as I get them listed usually. These are Puppy Surprise. These are the more contemporary ones. The Hasbro ones do much better, but still, there probably is another one. Um, and again, it's like $7.95, $9.95 for the two. Always picking up the Zoom Zooms. I've got a small pile started. I just hadn't got to yet. Look how cute little gerbil hamster mouse. It's Aurora. Needs a bath. I'm pretty confident I have something else that's shaped like this, these round ones. So I'll try to pull it and go ahead and make a lot. Unless he's worth like eight to twelve dollars. I picked up actually several of these. This is Fisher Price Little People. It is the newest version of them, and it's a Paralympic wheelchair basketball player. Well, I thought that was very interesting. Look, I had to get it because <laughs> ramen is the nemesis in our house. My kids always make huge messes when they, they open up that pack, and there's always noodles. They fly everywhere. All right, Mary Meyer. It's turning into one of the brands that I really like picking up. A lot of it is bread and butter, but I just like it. All things poo. This is Gund, and it is the classic poo. If I've got a classic Tigger or Eeyore listed, I will just make a lot. If not, then this will be the start of potentially a lot unless he sells very quickly. Love this. It says RCMP. That's Royal Canadian Ma Mounted Police. This person's name is Sergeant Bucky Beaver. I tend to pick up most plush that are like this. Um, it's probably still going to be like 10 to $15. Like Bucky's? Not Bucky's. Yeah, we bought, when was it, in October? Yes, mm -hmm. in October, as we were driving to Missouri, we stopped at a Bucky's and we bought a plush to resell. It was one of their Halloween specials. They were $15 and you could sell them on eBay for 30 Exactly. Well, we lost it. And I just found it the other day. So it's, it's in the queue to get listed. I have no idea yet what the comps are at this point. Maybe it's better because it's after Halloween, but maybe the market's just flooded and I'll be happy if I get my 15. Which one That's, was it? It was a vampire? It was a vampire. This is intriguing. It says it's Kiwi Co. That little cloud with the rainbow. It's got some um, peeling fuzzballs on there. I'll just take the sweater shaver that we finally went and bought. Um, clean it up a little bit, but it is going to need a bath first. So back in December, in January, even, he was going for $25 to $30 used. And ours, well, even though we bought it new, I will probably list it used. With $35 new, $27, so... I'll match the new price, though, because mine's going to have its tag and everything. Look how cute. I don't see a tag. But it's a rattle. Definitely vintage. It kind of is giving me, like, Eden, maybe. Maybe uh, Amtoy, Gerber. 
any of these older plush. Maybe I'll be able to get it with Google Lens as far as the, the brand, but I don't know. More than likely, I will list this like 20 or so. Love this. Just One You Carters. I think I have something similar listed and it was just going to be bread and butter, but we'll see. Sometimes these more obscure animals, the sea life, sea creatures might do better than your typical giraffe or anything like that. I picked up several of these. Not sure where the rest of them are. They'll show up in some of the other bags. Domo. Some of these are bread and butter, but some of these do quite well. This Goodwill originally was put in these. Oh, wait. What's DMB? We've had that before. D. Dave and Buster's? I bet you that's what it is. That's where this originally came from. I thought it was a Goodwill stamp put over the tag, but it's Dave and Buster's. It needs a bath. I'm going to be pulling all the tags off. Anyway, but I'm hoping maybe $12 to $20 for it. Is his last name Arigato? No more Ari. Arigato. When I went to college, I went to college in Hawaii. So why not take Japanese as my foreign language in college? Very little. I can count. I think that's all I remember of two years of Japanese. Douglas Baby, cute little horse. I'm thinking probably $12 to $15. I think I've I've had others. I think that I have a giraffe that has that like teether ring at the top. This might be Kill. No. Oh, it's Uni. No. Maybe. Oh, it's Are you okay? Germany. No, at first I thought it was Kiel because of this. See, I'm I'm trying to guess. Then I thought it was Unitoys because of that, but that's not it either because it's made in Germany. So I don't know. Maybe it's Uni. I don't think so though. I don't know, but look how cute. Very cute though that it still has this on it. I don't know. I'm hoping twenty plus dollars for it. All right. It needs a bath. I broke my rule because it is a music box. But it's Bantam, and I've done well with Bantam in the past. It almost has like a definite vintage. But I don't know. I don't think it's going to come clean easily. How about that? All right, this is a water baby doll. Is it vintage? No. It's still Lauer Toys. I've done well in the past with the vintage ones, but this one is 2016. It also is by Just Play, but it's got the squishy bellies in the back, but right now it does not have water in it. Look how cute. I love this. Donald Duck. It's definitely vintage. Applause. It's just applause, Walt Disney, do, no date. Very clean. I'm hoping $12 to $15 for him. Now I grabbed, it's dirty, but I've done really well with Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty clothes. Not sure if this skirt went, that kind of makes me think it is because a lot of times they're these jeweled but I'm definitely going to have to get this washed and soaked in OxyClean for a bit because it's major stains. But I'm hoping if I can get it cleaned, I think I've got a pair of shoes I actually could fit with it. Um, I don't know, maybe $12 to $15 for the outfit. Kohl's, I know I have a dinosaur that's Kohl's. Not sure if it's this one. If not, I think I'm going to make a lot of them. This one says, a lot of the newer Coles have dates now. This one's 2020. It might be that one, and then I'll just do a quantity of two. I can look. The tags over the tags. And when you pull these off, all you're going to get is your lettering ripped off. But it's Coles also. Look how cute. Oh, Mama, the baby is still attached. 
I don't know, I'm thinking bread and butter for it. But a lot of times those ended up getting torn apart. Now, I've got this, I think, listed if I didn't sell it during fourth quarter. It's by Smithsonian Institute, but I think the other one I had did not have the little um, satiny kimono on. But it is for the Cherry Blossom Festival. Very cute, but it was only bread and butter. Hmm. How cute. I'm trying to figure out the tag. Oh, hmm. Anthropology. That's very intriguing. Don't know. I don't normally pick up anthropology loveys. Not because you wouldn't, but because you don't see them. I don't ever see them. I don't, yeah, we don't hardly ever find anthropology clothes in this area. Just another Aurora. I've got, I think, a something else over there. I'm trying to wait till I have two or three of these, if it's going to be pretty quick, and make lots of, like, two or three farm animals or sea creatures or wild animals. Oh, no. Look, it almost, almost seems Ikea, maybe, just based on the eyes. I don't even see a place where the tags would have been. I don't know. We'll say bread and butter. Hopefully it's in unique enough shape that I probably can find the manufacturer. Now, at first I thought this might be folk manis because it's a puppet, but there's no tag or even residue and they're pretty recognizable because they're that brown cloth. Um, but I don't know, but look how neat this is. Big old full body black cat with a bandana, but no tags. And unfortunately, I just saw this. I should be able to fix that. It's not overly big. So I'm hoping 25 plus, maybe even plus plus. grabbed this. Normally I wouldn't pick up these kind of small puzzles like this, but when I looked, it is still sealed in the bag. So I went ahead and grabbed it. There used to be a time where, you know, if it was lowercase letters, it was more contemporary Lisa Frank, and if it was capital letters, it was more cap, uh, was vintage, but these days you don't know. So... I'm pretty sure this is contemporary. Probably just a couple of bucks. If I've got something else, Lisa Frank, I may go ahead and add it to it. Then I had to grab this. We'll have to put it together. But Cabbage Patch Kids, 100 piece puzzle. I'm trying to see a date. 1990. I see comments sometimes when people are checking to see if a puzzle is complete and they'll count the pieces. And if they have a hundred pieces, they'll think it's complete. It's not always that way. So don't use that as your judge. You're, you're better off probably just saying that it's, um, that it was not put together. So you can't confirm, you know, that it is complete because there's nothing worse than a buyer getting a puzzle that you said was complete and it's not. But we put together all our puzzles before we list them. I love when you find a whole container of stuff. Now, I'm sure I probably threw some extra stuff in here, but I remember grabbing this, or did you grab it? I think it was me. Um, and it, it just had a whole bunch of Littlest Pet Shop stuff in there. But it had, you know, a lot of these small cases. Now, the animals are out. Hopefully, maybe they're down in here because I see some of the itty, itty, bitty ones. Um, but I added some Build-A-Bear shoes. Um, it was just, just a whole lot of littles. So I grabbed it. I see right there is one of the bottles for the for real pets. Um, I've got one little one listed, so I may go ahead and add this second one to the lot. Oh, so, love that. 
This was one of my kids' favorite book, The Rainbow Fish, but I don't remember which one it is. But look, this is a little finger puppet that went. There's a hand puppet and then a finger puppet that went to the book series. But just loved it. All right, last few from that bag, and then we've got another empty bag. Love how cute this is. It is, I'm thinking Walmart. Yep. Walmart, perfect time for Valentine's Day. Got to get it listed quick. Got the big old dreamy eyes. Just, just love it. This was supposed to be in the uh, holiday I bag. know. Which, did we find, oh, yeah, we found the holiday, well, we one of the holiday four. bags. We haven't even looked through them to see if there are any more. Because you said you weren't putting anything in there. So Yeah, I didn't put the rabbits in it there. It became a moot point. Because you were only doing Christmas and Halloween. You said. We'll end with this. Look how cute. I swear. I don't know what happened with Lilo and Stitch. They just don't do very well anymore. Unless you find. What is his name? Scrump. The little green. Like scary looking teddy bear. That Lilo carried around. That one is definitely worth picking up. Um. But this one is Disney Parks, and sometimes Disney Parks does a little bit better than, like, the Disney Store. So, Lilla, Stitch, and then Shrek. Just says 2021, so very contemporary. Needs a bath. All right, another bag down. I don't think we have very many left, but I did remember that... We do have bags of smalls. That's why you guys haven't been seeing a whole lot of smalls. I forgot that for a lot of them, we put them and left them in blue Ikea bags. And they're sitting in another area of the basement. So that's why I kept thinking, where's all my smalls? It was They just never made it into the big garbage bags. Because it makes the bags even heavier. All right, y'all. It's time to get to work. Bye.